Hello and welcome to another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. I'm the player who plays as the King Under the Mountain and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different um, in regards to I'm just going to talk through uh, the new season pass which has needed an update for a very very long time. I'm hoping this means that the season store will also be getting a bit of a makeover at some stage for the end of season but uh, for now, <clears throat> just kind of talking through the pass itself. So they've changed it so there's three levels. So you now get basic, which is what you always get. Um, and then there's two of these kind of elite levels. I can't remember what the middle one was called because obviously I've bought the three. So, um, and it's still $14.99, but they've kind of changed the layout of it a little bit. So from what I can read through, and I'll kind of just flick through it level by level in a minute just to sort of um, guide you through. The weapons changed, uh, the types of items that are in there have changed, and they seem to be focused around uh, certain commanders, which hopefully it changes every season, which I think would be interesting. Otherwise, in four seasons' time, everyone's going to have an R5 Falcon, even if they didn't want one. So um, I'd like to think that will change. You get a pretty cool speech bubble as well, which is, you know, um, with a sort of dwarf shield on for Falcon. So it's, it's unique, basically, which is pretty fun, particularly as I like playing as a dwarf. Um, but yeah, it's kind of introduced a different, a couple of different things. So the first one to note on level one is you, you get it the construction queue now added in, which used to cost, I think it was four ninety nine. So again, it's instantly kind of made a little bit of value. Um, there are less mavens in it now, and I'll, I'll kind of show you that as I scroll through, but there are quite a few stamina tinctures, which are pretty useful, particularly on that first day. So you can get to level four easily in the first day. Um, there are some construction buffs, which are also good for those first couple of days. Still quite a few gems, and, and you basically unlock Falgin uh, as you work through the pass, so you're guaranteed to unlock him with the amount of vouchers that are in there, for Falgin specifically. Um, which again is pretty cool. So they do the random exquisite chess, which you get also. Um, I do think this now represents better value than what it was before for actual useful items, because, you know... It, all this stuff up to here is, is pretty useful for the start of the season. <clears throat> uh, you do get some resource buffs as well. The only thing I will say that I'm not a massive fan of uh, is the weapon that they've put in this pack. So I'm, I'm really pleased they've changed it. Um, <clears throat> not to rant about it or anything like that, but again, custom worn equipment, pretty cool. Um, it'd be nice if they threw a gold gear in here as well, I suppose, just for fun, but I guess I'm probably asking too much there. So first thing of note, uh, with the PBE just around the corner and probably changes to your account needed, um, you do now get hammers as well, which is pretty awesome. I think there might be five hammers in here. I, sh I should probably count them up. I might, I might go for it afterwards and just count them up, but as I think they'll be really important. They've already helped me change my account. So again, I think from a season pass point of view, um, pretty useful items really uh, more gems more sort of speed ups and, and different things more gear <clears throat> more stamina tinctures um, uh, some uh, tavern tip speed ups which is always nice so all this stuff's really good stuff the bugbear for me is this now I don't know if we missed a trick here. I don't know if someone's not talked to someone else. I don't know if someone's just mentioned, oh, there's a commander who kind of needs a little bit of command and a bit of unit defense and a bit of commander defense. What item can we throw in there? And then they've come up with Dawn, which I'm pretty sure since season three, I haven't seen anyone use a Dawn, but I could be wrong. Please let me know. Um, But with you unlocking Falgin, I, I'd kind of hope that it'd be a dwarf-based... Um, weapon really would be logical to me because they've made everything else about him all the respect items in this are, are for Falgin uh, the speech bubble you get with it is Falgin's unique mm, surely a dwarf weapon or helmet or whatever it might be like a hammer Amoria that's fairly useful on a Falgin if we're being honest um, particularly with my endurance blood in the R3 and the fact that he needs a lot of command defence to improve uh, frames guard so I kind of don't really get the dawn, but it is a gold weapon still, so it, the smoking pipe did need to change. It's just a shame that it's uh, sort of changed away from a damage weapon, really, I guess, because people people do like them. All the way up through the levels, you're still getting um, a bit of everything. Like I say, it's a pretty cool change to the season pass, and I do think it's a it's a change for the better. Um, 
one thing I will say, I'm not entirely convinced of these things being within season only. I think they should be, you should be able to keep them, but it just means the day before you go into bag end, whatever you were thinking of doing, probably just, just make the changes. It's still 65 levels. I think it's actually better value now than what it was before. I mean, if we count back, there's there's two hammers there, which, again, people have been crying out for hammers for that long. Um, what we'll be up to so far, that's three. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a few more. And I've probably missed one, knowing me. Four. Five. Six. Uh, so in this, there's six hammers, which I think is pretty good value for hammers, really. I mean, everyone needs them at the end of the day, but six hammers is, is pretty good. I'm pretty sure there's six stamina tinges as well. So if you were buying them in the weekly deal, that's four ninety nine in itself. Um, the construction shoe itself, shoe itself is four ninety nine. Then you're basically getting six hammers for four ninety nine, which, it, without anything else, to be perfectly honest, is is pretty pretty good value um so i would definitely definitely recommend the season pass if you are going into a new season and you do want to help support me i do have my affiliate link with the game same as pretty much anyone else who creates content and a couple of fellowships have their own as well to be honest but um i really appreciate when people use the link you just press it you go and buy things through the shop as you would normally uh if you buy things through the website not through the in-game purchases generally unless the dollar is your currency it is a little bit cheaper than the most so if you're in the eu zone in particular it's it's actually cheaper to buy through that store and it just helps the channel because i get a little kickback from it and then that allows me to do some giveaways and help the channel grow and that kind of stuff so there'll be another one of those giveaways out soon but the season pass for me i think it's a great change i think it's nice to see that they are thinking about changes for the game um i quite like the new starting sequence as well so far but um yeah, it's also pretty cool. But yeah, um, I just wanted to go through it and just sort of highlight that there are changes being made. I think they are positive ones. Hopefully the PBE comes out positive and, and the new pass. I hope they kind of do it whereby they change maybe the commander and the weapon every season or something like that. Uh, that'd be pretty cool, I think. But If in doubt, as always, in the meantime, always follow your nose.